All right, all right, welcome back to The Golf Pit, the place where everybody gets better. Today we're talking about a hot topic, connection in the backswing. Today we're gonna give you three ways to feel great connection with your arms and your body in your backswing, okay? This is gonna set the table to put you on the path for the least amount of manipulation in your downswing, all right? Three ways we're gonna go over, one deals with the lead arm, one deals with the trail arm, and one deals with both arms, okay? So when you get out there, you get to work at it, you get to find out which one you feel works best for you. There's a couple different points of connection. There is connection below the belt. There is connection above the belt. Today, we're gonna to talk about connection above the belt, and particularly how the body needs to work in unison with the arms and hands in the golf swing, okay? This is the definition of connection for us when you hear us talk about it. Above the belt, making sure the hands and the arms stay in front of the body as the body turns them to the top, okay? Now, when we look at this, we can see at the top of the swing that if somebody turns up there, they're gonna see the left arm on the shoulder plane and the right elbow down and in front, okay? Ways you would be off is if you start to see the arm coming back. You see a real flat left arm, right? You might see players pick it up and take the club really, really high. Those are times where now the arms and club move away from our body center. Okay. Let's start it off with the lead arm, all right? How to create connection in the golf swing with the lead arm? Well, here's the thing. The lead shoulder is gonna push the lead arm down the line of your feet, okay? What happens to a lot of people is this lead arm starts to go out or in, okay? And if we went out, the hands have disconnected from our body. If we go in, the arms have gotten behind us, all right? Both spots that are gonna be pretty troublesome, okay? So when we're talking about connection, I like to when discussing the lead arm and how to use that to get your club to the top, I love to put an alignment rod right down the line of my feet here. And I love to feel my left shoulder push my left arm down and down the line of the target. Now at the top of the swing, very top, I might feel like my left arm is slightly inside of this orange line. That naturally happens. I don't need to search for depth or getting the clubs behind me. I need to feel like this arm at this point right here is covering up my alignment rod completely. And then I just keep pushing. As I turn, that's what puts the arm on the angle of the shoulders, okay? Boom. Right up there, okay? So here's my left arm going down the line of my feet. Got me to a nice high feeling spot in the backswing, okay? Let's do one more. Good, we're gonna put the lead arm right down the line of the feet. All right guys, so we covered how to use the lead arm in the backswing. Let's talk about what the trail arm can do and how that can help us. Now here's the thing, through all of our teaching, the trail arm in the backswing causes a lot of problems. So this is really important if you start to see your arm get out of place, all right? Now what we like to do, as you know, we set up with our arm giving blood, okay? This externally rotates our right shoulder and puts our arm in a position to stay in front of my body as I turn to the top. So my thought for this right arm is making sure that I'm giving blood in the setup and that as I turn, I'm keeping my right elbow and funny bone down and in front of the right side of my body, okay? This is gonna really help keep the connection of your golf swing, the connection being, again, the arms being right in front, boom, of my body at every point, okay? Not letting it get behind. So if we're thinking about the right arm, I got a number one, make sure I'm giving blood. Number two, I'm gonna keep my right elbow down and in at the top of a swing as I make my big shoulder turn. Down and in. This is a great way to feel it. You can throw this left hand underneath this right arm and now just make a big turn, okay? Feel how that elbow is down and in versus behind, versus up and away, right? Just setting up, good. Big shoulder turn, keeping my right elbow down and in. Really, really great way to feel it. Let's see one more, down and in. 
Here's the question we always get. Does my hand have to be really, really strong on the club when I give blood? And the answer is no, right? Your wrist is completely independent of your elbow joint, although they affect each other a little, okay? You can give blood, get your arm in this position, and still put your hand on the golf club in a comfortable way. It doesn't have to be stuck down underneath, okay? So I'm giving blood with the arm. I'm putting my right grip in a comfortable spot, and now I'm getting ready to keep that right elbow down and in at the top as I turn. Ooh. All right, guys, so we talked about how we get to use the lead arm and go down the line. We talk about how we want to make sure we're giving blood and keeping the right elbow down and in front of the top. Now let's use both of them together. To me, guys, this is one of the best connecting thoughts in all of golf for your arms and your body, okay? Very simple. I think most of you, if you are a golf historian at all or a little older, everybody remembers the great Ben Hogan five fundamentals of the picture of his arms wrapped together. Okay, your elbows staying closer together will create connection of your chest and your arms in your golf swing. Okay, now the reason being, when they stay close together, the distance between my chest and hand stays the same. My chest is always facing my hands. It's the elbows moving around that take that away. Okay, and that's what causes then a big manipulation in the downswing. So you can get set up. You can make sure that your elbows are close together. And if you wanna use both of them, all I'm gonna do here is keep my elbows close together as I make a big smooth turn. That's the thought for me. I could tell in the very first swing how much tighter the top of the swing was, how the arms and the club now stopped at the top at the same time my body was done turning, okay? They're moving together up there. Let's do one more. That was the one for me. And again, I believe it is really one of the best connecting thoughts in all of golf for your upper body. Keeping your elbows close together as you turn. Another one. So guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like this video. Go out there and give it a shot. Find out if you need work on your lead arm, if you need work on your trail arm, or if you're gonna be the one that loves the best connecting thought in all of golf. Boom, keeping those elbows together throughout your backswing.